I don't want to start taking drugs. Your caution does you credit, my dear. Now, I have to ask a question which may cause you some embarrassment. Please remember that I'm a doctor. What is your shorthand speed? I can manage 20 words a minute with ease, sir. And your typing speed? I haven't mastered the keyboard. My money ran out, you see. Well, no, perhaps you have other qualities which aren't immediately apparent. Lie on the couch. Why, Doctor? Oh, don't ask questions. That is the first lesson that a secretary must learn. Now, kindly remove your stockings. I wish to see what effect your stepmother's death had upon your legs. Isn't this rather unusual, Doctor? Oh, no, fair, Miss Barclay. What I see upon the couch isn't a lovely and desirable woman. It's a sick mind in need of psychiatric treatment. The body is of no interest to a man of my stamp. A woman once threw herself at me. I needn't tell you this is spoken of incompetence. She was stark naked. She wished me to misbehave myself. And you know, all I was conscious of was that she had a malformed navel. That's how much notice I take of women's bodies. Please forgive me, Doctor. I wasn't meaning to suggest that your attentions were in any way improper. Yes, as I thought. You have a febrile condition of the cards. <laughs> oh, you were quite wise to have a checkup. <laughs> Undress. I've never undressed in front of a man before. I shall take into account your inexperience in these matters. I couldn't allow a man to touch me while I was unclothed. I shall wear rubber gloves. How long would I have to remain undressed? Well, if your reactions are normal, you should be back on your feet in next day time. I'd like another woman present. Is your wife available? Now, Mrs. Prentice is attending a more than usually lengthy meeting of her cousin. She won't be back for this evening. I could wait until then. Oh, I haven't the patience, my dear. I have a natural tendency to rush things. I won't trouble with the details of my private life until you're dressed. And kindly put your clothes on the chair, provided. I must ask you not to mention this examination to my wife. I'm not doing it on the health scheme, you see. She'd be sure to send you a bill and that would be open to misunderstanding. What is Mrs. Prentice like, Doctor? I've heard so many stories about her. My wife is an nymphomaniac, consequently like the Holy Grail. She's ardently sought after by young men. I married her for her money, and upon discovering her to be penniless, I attempted to throttle her. She escaped my murderous fury, and I've had to live with her malice ever since. Poor Dr. Prentice. How trying it must be for you. I wish there was something I could do to cheer you up. Well, if it give you any pleasure, my dear, you, uh, you can test my new uh, contraceptive device. I'd be delighted to help you in any way I can, Doctor. Put your hands behind your head, lie on the couch, and think of the closing chapters of your favourite work of fiction. You may leave the rest 